Hi, in this demonstration, I'm going to show you how you can import timesheets into QuickBooks Desktop from text and Excel files. So you're likely to be watching this movie because you've got a lot of timesheet data in an Excel file or in a text file that you're looking for a way to import into QuickBooks without having to spend many hours manually entering that. Then once the timesheet data is in QuickBooks, you'll be using that to um, play employees based on the time that they've entered on their timesheets, or, and including, you may be using those timesheets entries to record um, job costing data and whether those um, hours are billable to clients. So in both scenarios, we're gonna look at the fields that are important to map and to make sure they get into QuickBooks in the correct format. So QuickBooks Desktop does have a built-in way of importing timesheets. It uses the IIF file format, which is a complex format. It requires you to have a very structured template and it's not particularly easy when it comes to um, adding data that, and if you make a mistake, then it's very hard to work out what went wrong. Why Z-axis is superior? Because it is a lot more flexible and has a lot more powerful importing features. So for example, if you need to um, merge two fields together to make the full name of the employee, we've got a function that will do that. It also can um, uh, concatenate data, so it can uh, join two fields together. It can also shorten fields, which may be too long for QuickBooks. It can search and replace, so it can look for one term and replace with another. I've got a few more movies recorded on that, so check out those links in the above um, link bar. So let's get in and I'm gonna show you actually how Z-axis imports in a live demonstration. So let's go and have a look at that now. So we've got QuickBooks open in the company file that we want to import the timesheets into. So in this demonstration, we're going to show you how you can enter that time, which will flow into the payroll part of QuickBooks. And we'll also show you how that time will also then impact the job costing and billing areas within QuickBooks as well. So first off, we open Z-axis. We're going to select QuickBooks Desktop and hit connect. So we're going to make a connection between Z-axis and our QuickBooks company file. So next we're going to click on import and we'll browse to the file that contains the timesheets that we're going to upload into QuickBooks. Now these are stored in a text file, but we also support um, Excel, um, text tab, del tab delimited CSV files and also IIF files if you need those. So what you'll see here is the file has the um, time entries for two employees. And these are the fields that we're gonna be taking and importing directly into QuickBooks. So we've got the employee name, we've got the customer job, the service item, the number of hours, the class payroll items, as we need those, as well as notes and whether it's billable or not billable. So first off, we're gonna create a mapping So the purpose of the mapping is to match the fields in QuickBooks to the columns in our import file. So we'll go through that process of matching the date to the date, the employee name, the customer, item. Now you don't have to map all of these, but we're gonna use some of this for payroll and for job costing. So we're gonna match those up and payroll item here as well, and the billable status. So we'll give the, the mapping a name so that we can remember it and use it on subsequent imports and click save. So once the mapping's been saved, you'll see now that the column headers have changed to the actual QuickBooks field. So we get a good idea of where that data is gonna be imported. And we can also review and edit this if we need to prior to importing. Axis also has the ability to overwrite or skip if those timesheets are already in. If you're using that feature, then you'll need to use a, what we call a transaction ID for the timesheet. So that's another field that you would have to map. So when you're ready, click on the import button. Axis will validate the data make sure it's in the correct format 
and then begin the process of individually importing those time entries directly into your QuickBooks desktop company file. So when it's complete, you'll see a message there that all timesheets have been entered. We can now go into QuickBooks and have a look to see how those timesheets have been entered and where they can be used. So we can look at the report. We can have a look down at the time by name. And there we can see the hours that have been entered for Michael D and for Vicky King. So these will then flow through into payroll and equally can flow into the job costing and billing as necessary. That's, so that's very simply how you can import timesheets from an Excel or text file in multiple formats directly into QuickBooks desktop using Z-axis. So the final thing we're gonna do is we'll just undo those imports to show you how you can delete those transactions. There, they've all just been deleted.